Hi Aries, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. This is a love reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watchers always welcome. Today I'm going to ask Spirit, how do they feel, the person that you're thinking about, what is going on in this connection, where are we headed, what is coming next, what does Spirit want you to know about this connection. So welcome back everybody, welcome to anybody that's new, so grateful Spirit has guided you here. Spirit, if you can please share with me from my Aries, what loving messages do you have for me today? What is it that you need me to know? I'm listening for you now. I don't know what to say to you. You have me speechless. Okay, so a um, little bit of a where do we go from here just came in, like something has happened or some kind of um, interaction has happened where it's kind of like, okay, now what do we do? So kind of curious as to what's going on with that. Um, think things through. Yeah, it's almost a feeling of like, where do we go from here? Um, you know, like, I need you to, you know, let me know, like, what's the next move? Or what, what are you thinking? You know, what are you thinking about us? What are you thinking about this connection? What are you thinking about where we're headed? Something like that. I'm trying to figure you out. Yeah. Um, you could have had some kind of intimate moment or a night together or some time together. And now you're kind of like, okay, now what do we do? Um, so there's this definitely this feeling of um, what am I getting into? And where do, where do we go from here? Definitely energy. Um, I think you're beautiful. Okay. So somebody, I like the swan, uh, soulmate energy. I think you're beautiful. Um, I, I like that. I think um, we all want to hear that. I think that that's something that you know, everybody wants to hear, you know, beautiful inside and out, something like that. I love your energy. I love your, I'm attracted to you, whatever it is. All right, let's get a couple more of these. Marriage material. Is this somebody that you could see yourself with in the future? Is this somebody that you would like to have a long-term commitment with or, um, you know, where do we go? So be gentle with me. I'm trying to figure you out. Don't break my heart just came into me, you know, like you could be the one that breaks my heart. So a uh, little bit of a be gentle with me came into me as like, let's take this slow, but not in a pushing you away energy, more in a, I don't want to screw this up energy. <laughs> so they maybe they're trying to trying to do the right thing for the first time in their life, you know, so that they don't screw up a good thing. So welcome back, everybody. Um, welcome to anybody that's new. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, comment below. Spirit, please share with me about this. Um, just moving forward, I guess is the question, like, is this connection moving forward? Because that is really a lot of the energy that I'm feeling. What are they feeling to move forward? I have a hermit. So are you pulling them out of this hermit? Or they're so used to being alone for so long that they're trying to get used to the idea of being in a relationship. I have a four. Yeah, there is a sense of I am guarding myself only because change is hard. Okay. And I, and I, some people it's harder than others. So if this person has had a routine, they've been alone, they've just been kind of doing their own thing. They haven't been attached to any one person for a while. Um, you may, they may be coming off as um, they're not that interested or they are, um, they're not jumping into this because the change is difficult. It's, it's like anything, you know, moving is hard or changing a job is hard. It's like they're getting used to the idea of being in this connection and um, what it is that they want. So I wouldn't take the fact that, um, you know, if they're not moving fast, I wouldn't take that as a negative necessarily. Okay. I, yeah, look at it. It's like this back and forth energy of the two of pentacles. Like, their life is about to change because of you. And they're just trying to figure out in their mind, like, are they ready for this? You know, you, you want to make sure they're emotionally available, right? You want to make sure that they know what they're getting into. So they don't turn around in a few months and just say, you know what, I liked my old life better. You know, I liked you know, not having to be responsible for anybody or have to check in with anybody or 
um, you know, being available, right? So they're trying to, you know, make up their mind with, do I want to be all in? And I have a seven of pentacles. So they're putting in some effort. I like that. I like this feeling of I'm willing to put in some time and effort. Maybe they're not to a place where they're ready to commit to. I want to be exclusive or I want to live with you or anything like that. But they're definitely willing to put in some effort and see where this goes. So um, if they are putting in the time and effort and they're slowly moving forward, I would say, then they're moving in that direction. I have a tower. So there's definitely some fear. Okay. The fear is you could be the one that breaks my heart. Um, I'm afraid that if I put in the effort, you're going to leave me, you're going to want to be with somebody else. Um, if I don't say and do all the right things. So we've got some insecurity here with, um, you know, uh, I guess I want it to work. Um, and then it's almost a feeling of the person who lives by the mantra of if it's meant to be, it will be. But you have to put in the effort also. OK, spirit did the work by putting the two of you together. But now it's up to the two of you to put in the time and the effort. OK, it doesn't happen just, you know, miraculously. It, it happens because two people are working at, at, at spending time together. So that's coming in. But I do have a new beginning. So that's that's really hoping. So that's it's like these. I don't know, maybe you're just spending some time with them. Maybe you're just kind of going back and forth with them now. Um, but it is a feeling of almost a risk. OK, like I am willing to jump into this. Right. That's the leap of faith. I mean, this is the OK, even with even with I'm afraid that you could be the one that breaks my heart, even with the this is going to change my whole life. I still am willing to risk. I'm still willing to take this leap of faith. And it's almost like, are you willing also? OK, um, you know, are you willing to to do this with me? Um, are we both on the same page? You know, and that's why right from the beginning, I get this feeling of like, where do we go from here? You might have been intimate um, and maybe you're looking at each other like, OK, now that we're intimate, what, what happens next? You know, like what, what, who are we to each other? Right. Um, yeah, I have this passion, no doubt in my mind. I have this passion for you. I'm attracted to you. I'm, I desire you all of those things. Um, so I, I do feel that I do feel that this desire, um, and maybe you're feeling it as well. Maybe you're knowing that this person definitely, um, is interested in you. I have an emperor, so this person could be, you know, I'm a, a little set in my ways, you know, like I've been kind of doing my own thing for a while and I'm, I'm just getting used to the idea of somebody else's energy um, coming into my life on a more consistent basis. So I, I hate to say give, give this time because everybody doesn't like to hear that, um, but I have an eight, eight of swords and I don't want your person to feel like they're being backed into a corner or that this isn't their choice. It's obviously their choice. You're not making them be in a relationship. Um, so at the same time, we want them to let down their guard, um, you know, open up to you and and just look at the bottom of the deck is, is a king of swords. So open up to you and, and just let you know what their feelings are and their feelings could be. I've been doing my own thing for so long. It's just really hard for me to kind of get used to a different routine. It's just hard for me to um, be available to somebody all the time. So I'm just going to say it's a transition period. I'm just going to say allow this person to get used to the idea that, you know, their life is about to change, but your life is about to change also. You know, it's not just one way. It's like you can say that to them like, hey, you know, my life is changing, too. My routine is changing, too. Um, so it's not just one sided. It's not all about them. So right now, I just 
you know, if you have to take it slow and get kind of ease your way into this transition of, you know what, we enjoy each other's time. We look forward to being together. Let's not, you know, look ahead five years. Let's just enjoy where we are today. That's probably a good way to approach this kind of energy for today. I have family, spending more time with family. Uh, family member needs you, work-life balance. So I think your emperor is having a hard time with sometimes, especially if they're like a um, single parent, okay? And they are pretty maxed out to begin with. And you add a, a new relationship onto that. All of a sudden they start to panic. They start to panic. Like, how am I going to do it all? How am I going to have a relationship? How am I going to be um, dating somebody? How am I going to take care of everything I need to take care of? So they, they almost like panic, not because of you, but because of um, they just added something else to their plate. And, and usually that's when they start to, you know, back out and freak out. And, you know, so then that's when you say, you know what, we'll, we'll make it work. You know, I'm flexible. I'm not putting any demands on you. I'll see you when I see you. We'll, we'll spend as much quality time together as we can um, so that somebody doesn't feel like their whole life just was uprooted and turned upside down overnight. So I feel like if you feel like your person is panicking in any way, it's probably because of something along those lines. Um, overcoming, overcoming any obstacles that you will find a solution, okay? That there's something in this connection that, you could say we can we can figure it out and i i think it's life balance work life balance kid life balance okay kids on both sides you know so it could be something along those lines it's just that you know what we'll figure it out we'll figure it out i have gossip you've got somebody behind the scenes that's jealous okay you've got somebody that uh, maybe this uh, emperor is very successful maybe this emperor is you know doing Doing really well in life and um, there's someone out there that that really wanted to be with them but they want to be with you they're starting to date you they're starting to spend time with you um, and spirits so they don't really want to be with anybody else so um, so what whoever's whoever's that behind the scenes I would just say it's somebody who's jealous and somebody who's envious of um, you know the start of this connection and they you know, they probably wanted them to be with them. So, um, but they're choosing you. They choose you is really, is really what, but I don't, it's, it doesn't feel like a third party to me because this person has been alone. This person's been alone. I have a key. Okay. You're unlocking their heart, right? There's the key to my heart. You're, you, this person probably hasn't let anybody in for a few years and it's, you are just, um, I don't know. I guess the person that they're willing to take that leap of faith with again and give this a real try. I have incognito. They've been hiding. It's like they've been hiding, hiding behind uh, their work, their um, responsibilities. They have been just kind of, you know, not addressing kind of the elephant in the room, which is they're single and they really um, should have somebody in their life and, and they can make it work. You know, people have relationships and kids and homes and jobs and take care of elderly parents. I mean, there's a lot of other people out there that figure it out. So uh, your person in you can figure it out as well. So it, you can have it all is how I feel. I have a fantasy, you know, sometimes people think like, if I, if I bring something new into my life, I have to give up something else. I won't have time for other things that I enjoy. And that, that's not true. You don't have to give up something to invite new energy into your life. You don't have to um, completely change your life. You know, hopefully you don't change your life whoever's coming into your life accepts you for who you are and you're not making a ton of changes. You might be being more flexible. You might be adjusting your schedule, but sometimes people think that, you know, having it all is a fantasy and it's not. There's a lot of people out there that, that have, have, you know, great careers. They have beautiful uh, marriages. They have children. They have, you know, all kinds of things going on in their life and they figure it out. They figure out how to do it all. Trust your inner guidance. I, I like this feeling of 
that you know that there's something about you that is opening their heart. Okay. I, I want you to tap into that energy. Like if you feel like you have gotten into this person's heart and this person is starting to really come around and starting to really open up and they're spending a little bit more time with you, they're a little bit more attentive to you, they're a little bit more interactive, um, you know, like just over time, you can see that it's this kind of progressing. I'm going to say, I just want you to kind of stay, look at the, they're like slow moving. Okay, spirit. Yeah, spirit wants to keep reminding us that this person is slow moving. Um, I don't even think out of fear of you in this connection. I think you're great and they don't want to be with anybody else. It's more the fear of change. Okay. It's more the fear of, you know, giving up what I've been getting, what I got used to, um, giving up, you know, they may, maybe they're thinking far ahead. They, they like their house. They like living alone. They had this the first time in their life they've lived alone for years and they like it. Um, and they don't want to have to give that up. I mean, that, those are the types of things that I think somebody is thinking of, but you don't have to give those things up people. There's a lot of relationships out there that people have two different homes and we spend time together, you know, and, and that works for them. Whatever's going to work for you guys. That's all that matters slow moving energy spirit somebody who thinks you're you're beautiful somebody who's ready to take a leap of faith a seven of cups so there is a lot of choices out there but for whatever reason spirits put this energy in front of each other and it's almost this feeling of hey let's make this work right let's figure this out slow and steady we're going to get our arms around this we're going to move forward I do feel like this person is going to start putting in more effort, okay? Whatever that means to you. I want to see you more often. They're calling more often. Um, you feel closer. You feel more intimate. Um, so I do feel like it's moving in the right direction. Look at this. Knight of Swords. I'm being more honest with you. We're talking about, um, I guess, deeper issues, you know, futures or... Um, things that are more significant as opposed to just superficial kind of conversation. So we're getting we're getting into, I guess, the next level for sure. I would say that I don't want you to give up hope on this person. I, this person is somebody that I do feel like is worth um, almost investing in. Like, here's this feeling of you know, the more I get to know this person, the more I fall in love with this person and vice versa. The more this person is getting to know you, the more they're falling in love with you. So I guess I don't want you to give up hope that, you know, this person is trying to show you that I could be a great relationship. This could be marriage material someday. But just let this unfold and let the universe work in this case. Queen of Swords. Yeah, I, I mean, just this communication opening up. OK, so the good news is this person's probably going to be very good at um, at least telling you every step of the way, kind of what is going on and what they're feeling. So I don't feel like I'm struggling with that. I feel like they're being pretty honest with with their emotions. And I feel like um, it's just a matter of time, you know, that. Um, this relationship becomes um, even stronger. But change is tough. I think this is just a reading about how different people react to change. And some people are really set in their ways and their routines and a new energy coming into their life really sometimes scares them because they like what they have. And is it going to ruin what they have and what they've built? Um, I hope you can forgive me. And you know, maybe you feel like you're, they're pushing you away to a, an extent. You know, have they been pushing me away? I'm trying to understand myself more. I'm trying to understand what it is that I want and where I'm headed and what's the best thing for me. And what's the best thing, certainly if it's somebody that's raising kids, you know, you take into consideration what's the best thing for me, what's the best thing uh, for my children, you know, something like that. The intensity of our connection frightens me. I, I don't know if I'm scared of it so much as um, I want to try to get my arms around it. Okay. I want to try to do the right thing. I want to try to 
um, be an adult about this. I don't want to just jump into something. So this is somebody who is probably thinking pretty level headedly um, and doesn't want to just have like this crazy wild affair and then, you know, be both sides be hurt. So I do feel like there's a lot more intention behind it. So the intentions are good. Um, I will love you with all my heart and soul. So, you know, is this person moving in the direction of, you know what, I'm going to keep showing you that I do want to be in this connection. And I do want to, um, you know, get to a place where I do love you, you know, unconditionally, and we are together, you know, so if we're not there yet, it doesn't mean that we won't be is how I feel. This is like slow and steady, but we are moving in the direction um, that we want to be moving. So I'm, I'm happy for that. I wish I could have treated you better. I wish I could give you the answers you're seeking. I wish I could, you know, tell you right out of the gate what it is that I'm seeking, but maybe we're struggling through some of those things and, and that's okay. Every relationship's different. I still have hope we can work this out. Yeah, so um, they're not giving up hope. They're they're trying to look at this as a realistic relationship of I've got all these things on my plate. You've got all these things on your plate. How do we make this work? And I think it's just going to come down to two very willing people that that are attracted to each other that want to put some time and energy into each other. Um, I'm in denial about my feelings for you. So they could be falling for you and haven't um, admitted their feelings yet. And that could be coming. So once that that happens, then I think maybe we have more of a clarity around, you know, who are we to each other and wh what are we to each other? Something like that. And then let's get one more. Um, no one is ever going to replace how I feel about you. So they definitely are starting to have some deep feelings for you. So let's put this out into the universe. Um, I think it's going to grow. I think it's going to grow. I think it's going to move forward. Um, I think they're worth the time, Spirit just said. So let's put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, thank you for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.